Hi Pisces friends, welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I hope you guys are all doing well, staying safe, healthy throughout this crazy crap that we're all going through. It'll be okay. Though. So this is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs, April 2020. As always, Pisces, if the reading doesn't resonate for you, please watch your other signs. I am using the Cosmic Tarot for you guys. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising Signs, Spirit, April 2020. Well, Ace of Cups flipped up for you guys. New home, new job, new relationship, reconnecting, reuniting, anything that fulfills you on an emotional level. Beautiful. Pisces, those of you that you know, would like to get a private reading, follow me on Facebook or Instagram. Links to everything you guys need right below the video in the description box. Oh, wow. Okay, while well, the Three of Swords reversed, healing, forgiveness, recovering, Moving forward. So. This Six of Cups, I do feel for some of you, is more about your past than anything else. That and your love life, because the lovers is reversed here. Sign of Gemini. Now, because I have this combination, you know, with the Six of Wands in your central issue. And you have two Sixes here. We'll get to that. Um, some of you do have, you know, with this combination, some of you do definitely have someone from the past coming back. But it doesn't look like you're going to go there. Or it's not going to happen. Or you could just be leaving your past behind and trying to move on with the Gemini. But unfortunately, that doesn't happen either. Like, I'm so sorry, if Pisces. If you're dealing with a Gemini, it doesn't work out. The Lovers is reversed. The Seven of Wands is reversed. No one's fighting for it anymore. You know, the Six of Wands in the past, you know, you did feel confident, successful, victorious in your love life, your personal life, because this is definitely love. I don't see work at all. And someone's just ignoring someone, not communicating. And I feel like if you're dealing with, with a Gemini... You're ignoring them. They're ignoring you. Or things are just at rest. This could be someone from the past. Maybe some of you are going to receive closure. But I, the majority of you, there's never going to be anything that you could do to receive closure, which brings the situation really, you know, to rest. You know, no, no one's fighting for it. No one's doing anything because things definitely were not good at some point. And I feel like 
this is a breakup that happened or will be happening, but it is definitely not because of cheating. If it's a breakup, it will be a breakup. It, that's just inevitable, especially if there was just like a third party interference, you know, like someone putting shit in your head. But honestly, I'm feeling more about the reminiscing nostalgia. But there's absolutely healing and recovery. And while someone is recovering, someone really just doesn't want to deal with people. But let's clarify it. I don't know. All this feels like something just didn't happen. I don't know. Let's see. I'm going right to this Six of Cups. You know, because two for me, if this was upright, you know, this is definitely a soulmate. You know, so you guys definitely were, are soulmates. Or you feel like you are. Six of And, you know, this could be, be happening within six days, six weeks, definitely not months. Oh, look at the tower is reversed. It never happened. It never happened. Looks like someone tried to make, you know, that fiery spark, that big explosion, but it didn't happen. Let me look at your lovers. Okay, definitely this one. The full reversed. This is this this the hell off I could speak. I'm so sorry. This is the decision that's not gonna be made. Someone is not going to take a leap of faith. Someone could be trying to encourage you to go take a leap of faith with them, but you're not doing it. They're not doing it. And they're probably most likely from your past. And, you know, truly, most people don't want their past back. And I just feel like, Pisces, you're just one of those people. I really just feel like you're like, hell no. Four of Swords. I definitely this one. Wow, the Hermit. I just, honestly, guys, I, I am very serious. You do not want to deal with people this month. And I really don't blame you. If you had to go through, you know, this at one point, which you definitely did, you're tired and you're, you just want to be left alone. You've waited too long. You're just tired of fighting. For this you're tired of fighting for whatever whoever you're really just like leave me alone the other scenario I do see here is that someone could be waiting on you for you to break up and if you do you're still not going to want them you're just not even going to go there so I really do feel like Someone is waiting for nothing. And if you're coupled, you know, in a re you know, relationship and, you know, it's on its last legs, that's done very soon. Uh, like, I'm just so sorry, guys. The bottom line with the hermit, I think you want to be on your own. The hermit is someone that does not want to, to, to be messed with. You know, they don't have time. Maybe there's a reason for it. I really just don't feel like it's negative. I feel like you're the one that's in control. You're maybe a little bit annoyed. 
or an air sign is, most likely a Gemini. And you're like, really, all I want is just some peace and quiet this month. You know, does that could even be true if you are happily married? You just want some peace and quiet this month. I don't blame you. That sounds nice. Peace and quiet. Pisces, if it didn't resonate, please watch your other signs. Um, I will see you guys back here with your love monthlies very soon. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, Pisces, please be sure to subscribe. Absolutely love you guys. See you back here soon.